So let's have a look at stimulus response bond in a bit more detail. If we look at the badminton player in the left hand corner there, we can see that she's repeatedly playing the same shot. And we can see that the shuttlecock has been presented to her so that she's making this smash shot. So the shuttlecock is high, it's way above her head, and she manipulates herself to get into the position to play that shot. So we can say that the stimulus in this case is the shuttlecock being presented in a particular way, and the response to the way in which the shuttlecock is approaching her is to play the smash shot. So when we talk about the stimulus response bond, we talk about this idea of a link or a connection or an association between a stimulus, in this case the shuttle got being played in a particular way to her and the response to that stimulus is the smash shot. So the stimulus is that the shuttle court is played high and deep to the back of the court and the response to that stimulus is to play a smash shot. So let's have a look at the theory behind this. So there's a psychologist called Skinner who did some work with some rats and hence some images of some rats to help you remember and he had the rats in the cage and the rats worked out that if they touched a certain button or touched, touched a certain lever then a pellet would fall down elsewhere and they would be rewarded for that so and then they were, of course they would eat the pellet so they were the stimulus was the lever or the button they pressed that and the response was that a pellet or food came down for them and they were rewarded in that way. So that's what this means by stimulus response and the more that they got rewarded for pressing that button or that lever obviously the more likely is that they're going to continue to behave in that way and repeat that behavior and that's exactly what's happening here. If we can present the badminton player with a particular stimulus they will learn they will have a very strong bond between that stimulus and ah I know to this situation I must play an overhead smash and this is referred to as the associationist or connectionist theory you might well hear that and we'll see that on exam papers.